On today's Marriage Minute, we're talking about the happy medium. And what that really means is that we're just taking out the word compromise. I remember when we first got together, we heard the word compromise pop up. People would say, you're going to have to compromise in a marriage. Oh, marriage? It's all about compromise. It was such a negative thing. It instantly irritated me. I was like, no, I'm not going to just lose who I am. Although I did because of kids, but I'm not going to lose who I am because of this marriage. I am going to find common ground. We are going to find the happy medium. Mm -hmm. So we looked up the word compromise and the definition was. Settlement of a dispute by both parties making concessions. Yeah, that's awful. I don't want to make concessions. That's not how it is. So happy medium is really finding common ground together, like I said. So if we go to the word compromise and we compromise over everything, somebody's probably going to feel resentful again. We're going to feel that anger. We're going to feel that frustration. And that's a common theme through all these marriage myths because really that's what happens Mm -hmm. in relationships. If I give something up and I'm not happy with the outcome, I'm going to feel mad at you for that. I gave it up for you. So the happy medium is really finding common ground between each other where both people can be happy. Yeah. Okay. So what's an example of a happy medium? A big one lately has been the cottage. Mm -hmm. So it's my family's cottage. So it's a little bit easier for me to go a little bit longer. And I say, if I'm going to put the work in, I want to go, you know, like about a week if we could. And John's like, I can go. Nice little day trip. (laughs) (laughs) Quick there. (laughs) Sorry, family. (laughs) So we try to find the happy medium, which is really going usually about three or four nights. Mm -hmm. Right? We put the work in. We at least sit there for a bit. But we're ready to go after a few days, hey? Yeah. Especially you. So that is one example of how we use happy medium. So we are encouraging you to try to adopt that language in your relationship because I think the word compromise, like I said, can lead to disagreements and arguments. And happy mediums are really just finding common ground and making sure both parties are happy. Mm-hmm. We even just looked up the definition and it was, do you remember? No. Hmm. It's like giving up something to... You're just repeating the same words that I use. I was hoping you would use the definition. (laughs) I forgot it already. Both parties to come to a resolution? No, that's not what it is. (laughs) (laughs) What?